Hi, this is Art with MountBikeRiders.com. Uh, as you saw in one of the tips of reinstalling the shock, um, we got our new cage shocks for the Airborne Taka. I'm going to go over how to adjust your shock on your, on your Airborne. And this could be applied to just about any bike. You have your preload adjustment, which basically preloads a spring, or loose, makes it tighter or looser. And you have your rebound, which is how fast the spring comes back out of compression once it hits a rock or, or small bump compliance. Now this is a setting where it has a turtle setting and a rabbit setting, which makes it very simple. When uh, most shocks they put rebound, they have an arrow that says plus or minus, which pretty much means the same thing. Rabbit meaning fast, turtle meaning slow. So basically how I like to start out on it is I like to turn the compression all the way out in to adjust the rebounds. So I'll turn it all the way into the turtle. So after examining the shock on, on my Taka, there's 13, uh, 13 click settings on there. So I got 13 in on turtle, meaning it's the slowest setting. So basically when you compress it and put it into the turtle setting, basically what happens to the shock is this. As you can see, the shock has a slow rebound as it comes back, which means that's fully closed. Now before you even start this, this was about four or five settings outward. So see how the shock reacts. Now, you see how this is loose? This came from the factory a little loose. So what we do is you roll it out a little bit. I get it to where it's, the spring is pretty loose on the bike. Now it's pretty loose. You don't want it too loose because basically it's going to bounce around. This could roll out. So this is RL Polycar's bike. So what you want to do before you even start touching the rebound is you want to set the sag setting. Typical sag setting should be roughly around, a good rule of thumb is an inch and a half to an inch of sag when the person is on the bike and it's compressed. Hands off the brakes. Now I'm not going to get super technical with this and pull out a ruler and measure the sag setting that way. That's the proper way of doing it. We're on the fly here at the race so we're just going to basically do a rule of thumb. All right. Okay, now what I'm going to have RL do is sit on his bike. You're going to notice when he sits on his bike, you're going to see the shock compress. Now what we want to do is have you sit on the bike really slow. You're going to have your hands off the brakes. You're not going to bounce on the bike. You just want the butt. You want to get your body weight and have the bike sag. Okay, go ahead and do that. Now if you see the shock, see how it goes down? Okay, I went down. Now go ahead and stand up. Get, unload, the, unload your weight. Okay, now go ahead and unload it back up. You have to do this on the fly. So basically, it's going to be a little bit of a, you know, test. All right, go ahead. Get off. Now, it went down a little bit more than an inch, so I'm going to compress this a little bit more and, and bring the rebound in a little tighter. Okay, go ahead and sit on it again. Slow. And you have the bumper, which you could also use as a measure. Okay, get off. Now, you might not be able to see this in here, but you can see the stroke. Of the, you, you can see the shaft in here. It's about a half an inch on there, so that tells me he had a half inch of sag. So basically, I could back this out just a tad, push the compression, push the compression bumper back on. Okay, go ahead and sit on it again. Okay, now get off. Now he has about an inch of sag set on there. This is a good, easy way of doing this uh, without pulling out the ruler and, and the tape measure and doing all the all the technical aspect of it. Okay, now we have our sag pretty much set. Now we can sit there and start playing with the rebound. Okay, now what we're doing is a rebound setting. Now I had it where you, you saw this, the shock work a little bit. Now what we're gonna do, now rebound is, a, is it's not tricky, but when you're out in the race course or you're riding, you wanna have this set to where it's gonna be comfortable and it's gonna rebound properly. So this is at full closed. And as you notice, the shock goes really slow as it rebounds back. So that's too slow. So we're gonna open it up, it's one click, two clicks, three clicks. Now you try it. It's a little slow still. Now basically what you want this rebound to do is when it's rebounding back, you don't want it to rebound really fast like a pogo stick. Because when you start hitting rocks and stuff, and it's rebounding, it's because the suspension will start pushing you off things. So you want it to react where it's slow enough to where it's tracking on the ground and staying on the ground. This is a sh basic shock that doesn't have compression, where you'd have the compression adjustment helps you, uh, helps the shock when it's compressing, you can have a high and low speed. This doesn't have it, so we're just working with rebound. Now, this was a little on the slow side, so I'll click it up one, two more clicks. Okay. 
that feels a little bit better. RL's got a, a 550 spring on here, so I gotta wait until he tries this out and see how this rebound. This is about, this is six clicks out. So now we're about, it's 13 on this whole shock. So we're six clicks out, we're about halfway. Now we're starting at the faster phase of the rebound, which now we're at the, at the rabbit, going into more of the rabbit setting. So what we'll have to do is go out for a test ride, see how it feels. If it feels like it's reacting good, we leave it alone. If it feels like it's too slow still, then we'll take it up a notch. You don't go by increments of one notch every time you adjust your rebound. That way, you're not going to overdo it, and you're not going to underdo it. So basically, let's ride it, try it out, ride it, try it out, ride it, try it out. And a handy thing to do is keep a notepad with yourself, so that way you could write down where your settings are at at all times, so that way you know if someone comes up to and messes with it, you know that they mess with it, and you're going to know how your bike reacts when you ride it. So every track is different every setting is going to be different if you really get technically into it. Like a lot of the pros, they have their guys that do their suspension for them. So these guys could come back and say, I don't like the way it's riding here. I don't like the way it's riding there. And they do quick adjustments. They go out and take it for a test ride and they tell them whether they like it, yes or no, or it's perfect, we'll leave it alone. Well, this is Art with MountBikeRiders.com. I'm telling you how to set up a rebound adjustment and your sag setting on the fly really quick.